So if you go online and read forums and articles about these old guitars, you'll find many people saying they sound thin and muddy and boxy and many other buzzwords, but I found one, wanted to try it myself, and I'm really blown away by this guitar. I think it sounds amazing. So today, against the advice of the internet, we're gonna find out for ourselves and uh, take a listen. Let's check it out. So this guitar has really become one of my favorite guitars. I'd probably pick it up around the house more than anything if you're just sitting on the couch uh, or playing on the back porch or whatever. This guitar is perfect for that. It's super lightweight and it's, it's very loud for being a small body acoustic. Um, but this is a 1960-ish Gibson LGO. Uh, it's hard to tell by the serial number on the headstock. Uh, especially around this era, but um, this is a small body acoustic guitar and this was really the cheapest This may be the cheapest guitar Gibson offered at the time if you check the the price guide in 1959 This guitar was offered for sale at $75 and compared to a Les Paul custom at 400 this was this was a much cheaper option so Gibson um, actually started selling a lot of these they really caught on by the mid 60s but uh, the early ones starting from 58 to maybe 63 or so are probably the most desirable and definitely the ones you wanna look out for. By the end of this video, I'll give you guys kind of a buyer's guide if you're gonna be looking for one of these. But if you go online and read all the forums, people usually uh, are not highly complimentary of these guitars because they are an all mahogany construction, which you know acoustic players would prefer maybe spruce or maple. Um, and it has ladder bracing in, inside, which, you know, people prefer the X bracing for the tone of it, apparently. But um, even, you know, close people that I trusted their opinion would, would say the same. Don't buy one of these guitars, save up and purchase an LG one, two or three. And I just, I, I, I wanted to find out for myself. So I bought this guitar through uh, Milwaukee Guitar Collective. The guys there are really cool. And I think I paid like $700, $800 maybe at the most for this guitar. It had a new nut. I think it's been refretted. Had some repair work done on the back just to shore it up. But um, otherwise, all in on this guitar under $1,000. And it's made from old 1950s mahogany. It's got a Brazilian rosewood fretboard. It has a nitro lacquer finish. If you were to order those specs from the custom shop, it would be very expensive. But despite its shortfalls, I think this guitar just sounds amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys. I'm gonna strum it uh, softly and, and a little more aggressively, let it ring out and sustain. I'm gonna do some picking as well so you guys can really get an idea. And uh, let me know in the comment section. We'll talk about it after this. <laughs> Thank you. 
You guys can be the judge, and uh, you might wear headphones when you're listening to this because I use two microphones, and they they are left and right panned. Um, other than that, there's no effects, no trickery going on. There's maybe just a little compression, just a little bit uh, to help tame some of those really loud notes um, from me picking. But I think strummed or picked, this thing sounds amazing. I mean, for under a thousand dollars, the specs of this guitar, looking at them in the modern world they're actually pretty good. Um, I, I don't think you can beat it. I mean, you compare it to my 1964 Dove, which is a large body, longer scale, maple back and sides, you know, a really fancy guitar, but also those guitars are approaching 10 grand. To find any vintage guitar at this price, you know, and then it sounds that good, I don't think you can beat it. Now, if you're gonna buy one of these guitars for yourself, um, I went online on Reverb and they have gone up a little bit as has everything. Um, I, th I still think you can find them around the $1,000, $1,200 price range. I would look for one between 58 to like 62 or three, I believe. Um, those are gonna have, you know, probably a, a bigger neck shape. They're gonna have the one and 11 16 nut. And, um, and sometime in the early 60s, they went to a plastic bridge setup, which, who knows, it may actually sound good. I don't know. To me, though, a plastic bridge on an acoustic guitar just doesn't sound like a great idea. Um, prior to the early 60s, they were Brazilian rosewood bridges. But if you do get a later model, um, LGO, you can always swap out the bridge uh, with a rosewood one. So maybe think of, you know, um, adjusting the price by a few hundred dollars to do something like that. Now they do have, you know, a cheap screwed on pit guard and cheap open back tuners, which I probably will replace. They work for now, but I will agree those, those are not a great option. Um, but otherwise it's, it's a pretty great guitar. Uh, the only thing to look out for is by 1965, they shrink the neck down to a one and nine sixteenths nut. This happened across Gibson guitars around 1965. So um, I personally wouldn't purchase one after that time period. The price does drop on those considerably, you know, five, $600 even. But um, to me, it's not worth it. The string spacing is too close. And so I would not purchase one of those guitars, but um, otherwise, pre-65, LGO, might have to swap the bridge 
under a thousand dollars, you're gonna do well. Now, maybe I just got the greatest example and you know, I seem to be lucky in finding really great guitars, but I always look for ones that are in this type of condition, which means they were played and probably for good reason. It's got a lot of finish missing on the back of the neck, which I love, uh, but I do think these sound better than what the internet suggests. Uh, perhaps they are better suited for a picking or blues style, which I'm gonna finish this video out with some blues picking for you. Um, but I was surprised to hear how it sounded just with chords being strummed. I, I think it sounds great. It's not a $10,000 Martin or Gibson Dove, um, but for the price, I'm gonna play this thing and get my money out of it. So check it out guys, Gibson LGO. Really cool guitar, thank you for watching. I'm gonna play some blues for you to uh, finish this thing out. See you guys in the next episode, peace. Cheers guys, peace.